having having a great day. Ready for the weekend. If I can get swap my screen here. Get the uh, game started up here. What's up, Harold? Hope you're having a great day. I am like super excited today for a couple reasons. Uh, one, we get to play Satisfactory, and uh, I um, am doing something that I hardly ever do, and that's I'm going on a date tonight. So no Shogi stream tonight. I actually said yesterday I think that we had a Shogi stream, but Shogi stream is actually canceled tonight because Shogi's going out of town or something, and I actually have something to do socially. It's amazing. Uh, we get to play something satisfactory for a change. Lol. There we go. There we go. You get the uh, uh, the honor of being the first the first pun master today, Madman. But uh, today's will hopefully be a, a really, really good day. What's up, Bane Train? You get to watch. Nice. I played a little off stream uh, just to get prepared for today's stream. Because uh, today our goal is to get coal power going. The goal is for some coal power, and I just logged on so I could get some copper sheets made, so I just kind of let it run. I did grab some extra, like, leaves and wood so that my powers kept up in the meantime. Um, so I'm curious how much power we're currently using. Let's look at how much power. We probably should, need, should do some calculations here. We currently have a power capacity of 120 megawatts and a max consumed of 118. This is not counting our power that's doing our mining. So 120 here. Um, let's get a power thing set up here. So let's go one, uh, two. I probably need to get uh, a severe. Where's water? There's fluid buffer. And let's see, logistics. Get some pipelines up here. Five, six, seven. Something like that. Uh, and how much power does a coal generator give us? 75 megawatts. 75 megawatts. And we're going to need some rotors. If I plan to start with like four coal power generators, uh, what's where's water um, extractor? I need this, and this uses well, this uses 20 megawatts right here. So copper sheets and a bunch of I need a bunch of rotors. So let's make some rotors. I don't think I have any rotors. Do I have any rotors? Well, I might have a couple. I have like two. <laughs> I have two rotors. Let me grab some materials we'll need to do this. Uh, the do do do. Where am I trying to go? It is here, right? No, that's the man. It's over here. I, if I need rotors, I need lots and lots of screws. So we're going to start by manually making some rotors so we can set up better power. Uh, make some factory screens for today. You can't impress a lady without some proof. Uh, screenshots? <laughs> I'm pretty sure the girl I'm gonna meet today is not gonna be impressed by fa satisfactory screenshots, but you never know. <laughs> I, was, I was chatting with her before the stream. Uh, and uh, she's, I'm actually, I've gone on, a, you know, a few dates over the years with people I've met through like, you know, dating websites and stuff. And this is one of the people I've actually had the most fun chatting with before. We, that we actually meet. I think we only started talking like yesterday or the day before, but she's been cracking me up, so that's a good sign. It's a good sign if you're already laughing before you've even met, so hopefully it'll go well. Uh, how many of these do I need? How many rotors do I need? Um, water extractor needs 10. Uh, full power generator needs 10. So if I... Oh man, how much... I'm gonna need a lot. If I'm gonna do four of those, there's at least 40, 50, probably at least like 60 of these these things. I really need to get rotors automated. If that doesn't press her, what will? I know, I know, who knows? What's my favorite song by the Rolling Stones? I'm not a big Rolling Stones fan. I don't know if I even really have a favorite uh, song. I know that might be sacrilegious for some people. Um, can I just go grab a bunch of screws? I have a bunch of screws probably backed up up here. I can grab a bunch of screws. Yeah, just 
let's, let's, I'm gonna steal some screws here. This will speed up this, uh, this process. Okay, those are being used up pretty much as fast as they're made. Okay, I didn't make it up there. Uh, I could just grab some screws off here, though, I guess. Uh, okay, let me try that. Let me try that again. Okay, right here. I want your screws. Uh, oh. Okay, I just steal all your materials there. All right, so how many rotors can I make with uh, all the screws I just stole? I can make 24. God, I need like 60 of these things. Uh, I can't get no satisfactory. Oh, oh, you were making that joke, I guess, huh? Okay. Can't get no satisfactory. Okay, yeah. Totally, totally missed that joke. My bad, my bad. God. Puns and Rolling Stone songs together. Not my favorite combo, but, you know. I'm sure some people think that's hilarious. <laughs> Alright, um... I need to check how much water will be needed. So I can figure out how many water pumps I need for four cold generators. You definitely chuckled at that, oh, I'm sure, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, so if I get if I make twenty of these, I can figure out uh, the numbers. Um, and here, let me do something real quick. Let me just really quickly again. This is um, this is all temporary, all temporary. Rotors, give you some iron rods, give you some screws. And just plug this in real quick, somewhere. Where? Where can I plug the, plug you in? Not there. Got all these power poles are full. <laughs> I need to do the upgraded power poles. That one. There we go. You just make some for me right now. Make some for me. There we go. Okay. Let me figure out water extractor goes there. Oh, she's gonna that talk to me. That may indeed be water. Try submerging your arm. If it does not dissolve, that will narrow down the range of possibilities. Or you could just pipe it to a coal-powered generator and see what happens. Oh, that's what I'm doing. I'm totally gonna do that and see what happens. Do 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 do. That and. And. I need four more of these now. Whoops. Thing and I stopped what it was doing. Uh, two water things can sustain, can sustain four generators. Okay, it's been a while since I've done since I've played, so I'm I wanna I wanna look at it myself so I can get the math in my head. That's the plan. That's the plan for setting this up. You don't mean this is a backseat, but don't forget there's a splitter pipe for water to make one pump go to multiple things. Okay, that's. That's fine. Yes, I, I do know about that. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, for now, what I'm going to do is... Uh, zoop mode. Go down here so I can set up a platform. Put a generator and look at these two things next to each other real quick. Just to remind myself of the numbers. All right, coal generator here. 50. Interesting. Most pioneers already had coal power set up by this point because they understood mm, their responsibility rude. to humanity. Adjusting pioneer attitude metrics. Reminder, coal-powered generators require coal. So... One of these does 120 water per minute. One of these needs 45 water a minute. Is that right? 45. There's a slightly awkward number. Uh, 120 divided by 45. 
120 divided by 45. Oh my gosh. So I need like three of these, honestly. Uh, you think two water pumps is more than adequate for four coal power plants? Really? I'm doing the numbers and it's only giving me 120 per minute and one needs 45. Am I, am I crazy? Wait, maybe I am crazy. 45 times four, 45 times four. That means that needs 180 and two of these will do 240. Okay, yes, I am crazy. My math was off. Okay, cool. Two can actually do five. So maybe I wanna set up five of these things then actually, which means I'm gonna need a lot of rotors. I need a bunch of rotors here. So uh, that made some. Let me go grab some more screws and throw them in there. I'm kind of just like cheesing this to speed up the process right now, yeah. Trying to steal my screws and they are being used up too quickly. But I'm gonna manually make screws for a bit, throw them into this rotor creator. And then I, while that's happening, I can go get coal. I guess the other question will be how much coal do I need per minute? Thank you for the bits, Meow Shadun. Appreciate that. Steal some more parts. Yeah, yeah. Steal some more parts. I need to steal all the parts. Uh, I did look on my map last night. The other thing I did off stream was I, I marked a couple of coal um, deposits. So I at least know where the coal is. 15 parts per minute per generator. I think the two, two coal places I went to have, um, I think they were normal. I didn't go to them, but I, that I, I scanned for. So if I'm gonna do five generators, five times 15 is, four times 15 is 60 or 75. I probably would need two coal uh, miners to supply five coal generators. That's probably what I'll go for to start here. Okay, let me get to 20 here. And I'm probably gonna need even more iron rods soon too. Yeah, so I need 75 per minute. So it sounds like two mines, five generators, two water, pumps to start. Sounds like what we're going to need. I only have a level one miner. So. Okay, so that'll go. All right, I marked coal. Closest one is over here. There's a normal and a normal up there. So if I climb up and then go left, there should be coal over there. Grab this stuff to make a miner. Um... I do if I make the minor thing, so. There's a coal up there somewhere. Alright. And I got myself some more ammo for my gun. Okay, this way. Sneak by this thing. You can't see me. Don't see me. Wow, that thing looks bigger than other ones I've seen. Is that crazy, or is that actually bigger? There's a map. Your mind is blown. Yeah, the map is quite useful. The map is quite useful. So there's a slug over here, I think. Something shiny. What was I seeing there? Uh, flashlight? It's my light. Uh, there's a button for light. What is it? Uh, I don't know what the button for light is. L? F for flashlight? No. B? There it is. Thank you. Oh, uh, wait. I thought I saw something shining here. Guess I didn't. Oh, I think that's my call right there.
Alright. Strafe's tried to side. Can't hit a moving target. Ow. Unless he does a giant napalm explosion. Got him. Alright, is that my coal? Beautiful. Normal coal. What do we got over here? Something getting blo uh, blocked off there. Is there only one coal here? I think there's only one here. Okay, so let's get... Um, do, 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 do. Crafting bench to make a miner. Uh, that's not the right thing to make a miner. It's a drop here. Okay, this guy right here. Let's make two of these. I'm pretty sure I'll need one more for that second miner I plan on doing. Uh, you need to unlock this gun. Yeah, the gun's... It's fine. It's not the best weapon, but it's fine. Actually, it might... Well, I like the sword a little bit better, but... Do I have miners on my bar anywhere? I don't. Let's add it here. There. Okay. And we're gonna go that way. And... I guess with where this is, I'll probably set up my power. I'll make a platform on that side, probably. Because my other call. Well, the other call that I marked is way over this way. Let me scan for coal from here. See if there's anything further east of us over here while I'm this direction. Uh, v. Coal. Okay, 520 meters that way. Okay, okay. So, let me... Let me get a platform set up here to bring this down. There. And... Bring this down Oops. this way. And we'll set up a power, a coal power plant right above the water over here is the plan, I think. That is that is not what I wanted to do. Okay. Probably something like that. Uh oh, are there bugs attacking me? I think I hear bugs from below. Okay. So this will get us to where we're going to set up our power plant. All temporary. All temporary, chat. So temporary. And this guy right there. So some belts that will lead to over here. Do, do, do. Something like that. Okay. Only to bring power lines to get this powered. So I will take that power line down once we're ready to be set up. And now I want to head towards... Oh, I should have marked on my map. Uh, v. Should have marked when that coal showed up over this direction. Somewhere over here. Down here. Okay. And what is that? That is normal. Okay, cool. Two normal core. Actually, hold on a second. Uh, coal, normal. Uh, stamps. This, this. And make it black. How much does this do? Is this going to do 60 or 120? Since it's normal, I think it's going to do 60, right? Yeah. So I do need another one where I need to overclock this, but I don't really want to overclock yet. So, I marked the call down that direction. So let's pull our power, power poles with us. Can 
follow our power poles back with our... Oh! Oh, this is the radiation... Is this the radiation guy? Well, actually, I might be able to get that. I don't think that... I see that ra that uh, radiated doggo, dude. It's just this thing. I might be able to grab these. Oh, I do see the radiation doggo guy. Okay, don't mess with it. I'm not going to mess with that. Not yet. Not yet. I am scared of a radiation doggo guy. Okay. Am I going the right direction? Mm, it's actually more that direction. Okay. You're going to start drinking water from nearby creeks. What, why? Why are you going to do that? Do I have belts that fast enough already? Can I transfer more than 60? I do have tier 2 belts. The problem is... Uh, they take reinforced iron plates, and I don't have that many reinforced iron plates yet. I have some, but not a ton. So making a really long belt of reinforced iron plates would be... difficult. Nice. Two shot those. Okay, those guys are going to come at me. I think they are, aren't you? Flying in formation. Nice. I think I see a purple slug over here. That's oh, is that? That's one of those big green doggos. Okay, I don't actually want to mess with it. Oh man, there's a lot of big green doggos around here. Okay. Uh, let me check my map again. It is that direction. So maybe I can go around them this way. Uh oh, uh oh, he sees me. Oh, he shoot throws rocks at me. Okay. Oh god. Well, I guess I'm fighting him. Holy crap! Ah! Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god, I might die. Run away. Oh, I hear him. Eat berries. Eat them. He still out coming at me. Uh, something hit me. Okay. Did I lose him? Oh, nope. This guy's coming at me. Dude, this is two of the big ones and one of the green glowy dudes that I'm fighting right now. Ow! Okay, get him stuck on the plants. If I can't... Oh, jeez. Oh. oh, man. Oh, jeez. I feel like I'm one of the bullfighter guys at, in Spain or something, trying to olay these guys. Oh, the big one! Oh, <laughs> God. Oh, my God. These guys are no joke. They're like giant alien spiders. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? I hear them. All right, they got to be dead soon, right? Ow, that did not stop him. Ah, did not stop him. Golly. Is that guy dead? That guy's dead. Okay. Take his loot. Ow. I'm stuck! Oh, jeez! Oh my god, I can't see him, he's so fast! Hide behind the bushes. That's right, you can't hit me! I have a tree! Your nemesis! Okay, that didn't hit him. <laughs> Ow! Insta-charge right there. 
Where'd he go? There he is. Stuck on a tree. Is he dead? Ha ha! I killed one of these big green dudes. Holy shnikes. Alright, there's one more of these guys. When I clear this out, I might as well get the get the purple slug since I cleared it out. Where'd the other guy go? I don't know, but I'm gonna kill this thing. Nice, okay, we can two shot that. And right, bring it on, little buggies. Ow. Okay, well, I failed at killing you. Okay. Okay, get the slug. Oh no, there's another guy over there. Another bug guy. Okay. <laughs> okay, glad I had a lot of berries on me. Uh, that th thing looks like an overgrown raspberry. You love these things. Oh, you love some raspberries, huh? Fighting the monsters is kind of not fun. You want to build some automation to deal with them. Yeah. Later you get better weapons. Like, I think the sword is better than the gun for fighting these guys. But yeah, for the game, they're kind of a pain. Okay, how close am I to this coal? Uh, a little bit further that way. Okay. Hopefully it's not in the green stuff. Oh, geothermal right there. Whenever we unlock that. Oh no, radiation! Oh, jeez. Is that guy guarding the coal? Oh no. Oh no. That guy is literally irradiated and when he gets close to me, my radiation level gets high. Okay, hopefully he's stuck on that and I can cheese this. Yeah, I think he's stuck on the tree. Yeah, that's right. There's a rifle later. That's right. I forgot about the rifle. The rifle's much better. You can run them over with a tractor? You can? <laughs> Get cheesed, bro. Get cheesed. The tree berry cheese tactic. You know it. You know it. Get wrecked. All right. Does even his body have radiation? Oh my god, it does. I'd like wait for his body to fade or something. Oh my god, that's crazy. His actual body is irradiated. All right, is my coal up here? Should be coal around here. Yes, right here. Okay. And to the victor go the spoils! Coal mine normal. Beautiful. And we need to take this all the way back towards our base that way. Okay. There. What's the half-life on that guy's body? Good question. And this should be 60 a minute as well, right? Yes. Okay. So we are going... Um... Going this way. All right, that body's guy. That guy's that body's guy. That guy's body. Go away and leave his loot. Hog remains. Beautiful. Seven hog remains from that. Okay. Here, I hear a glowy thing. I think that might mean there's a slug down here, maybe? Oh, it's probably here. Yeah, I think it's buried in the stones, probably. Or below me somewhere. Yeah, there's probably a cave behind those rocks or something. Oh, there's a slug, though. I got this guy. What button did I press to make the belt elevated? Uh, if there's not a button you need to press. What's that? Uh, you just when you uh 
If you know when you're laying belts down, you have to click once, then click a second time to confirm. Before you click the second time, if you move up and down, you change the elevation of your belts. So, I grab this, I'll show you here, an example. So you click once to place it, and then you look up or down and you can change the elevation. Super convenient. A lot of convenience thing with things with laying belts and stuff in this game that's really well done. And if you didn't know, you can turn it before you click the first time. If you scroll wheel, you can turn which direction it goes too. It's also very useful. You've been placing man uh, poles manually this whole time? Yeah, that's it's just way, way more convenient to do it this way. So, Lots of cool little quality of life tricks that they've added that I think is really one of the reasons I love this game so much. There's so much quality of life stuff like that. Okay, am I going the right way? Yes, I am. Beautiful. Yes. Okay. It does reach to here, so if I place a stackable right there. There we go. That'll be 260 per minute coal raw resources available for our power setup. So, let me get power connected to this next so that the coal will be on. And we the coal will just have to be fed to the generators. It works with pipes too. You can angle pipes up and down as left as, as well as left and right. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff like that for laying long distance pipes and poles and uh conveyor belts and stuff. Oh, that's a nice quality of life step. Okay. Oh, that is these guys. God. Eh. Damn, I'm like right on top of these things here, aren't I? Alright, I probably need to clear these out or else I'm going to keep getting attacked. I'm about to get attacked by a ton of these. Okay, you're dead. You're dead. Run around. Like playing dodgeball. But you're dead. Ow. And... Nope. I thought I reloaded. Ow. You're dead. Alright, now we gotta run away from these things. Oh my god, there's a lot. Ha <laughs> Okay, I think I'm faster than them. If I just run away, they'll eventually go away. I hope that's correct. Oh! Okay, that's fine. And more of them there. What are these guys guarding, I wonder? Usually when there's enemies, they're guarding something. Maybe that slug up there or something. Or there's just a lot of these guys around. Okay, I think we cleared out. Oh, there's a yellow slug right there. Ha! Huh. That must have been what these guys were guarding, this yellow slug right here that I didn't even see. Good tactical death to just take there, huh? I try to avoid any type of deaths, tactical or otherwise. <laughs> okay, but I am close to my base, so you're right. It wouldn't have been that much of a... Time lost, to be honest. Okay, so this is the level. I'm gonna set up my power kind of like right over here. So let me give myself a ramp to get up here. Uh... Oh gosh, I can't do this while underwater, can I? No, that's not what I wanted to do. Can I do this from the ground over here? There we go. So now. Now I can get back up to here, and this is going to be our power here, I think. 
Bunch of coal generators here. It'll be expandable. Almost out of iron plates. And uh, let me give myself a way to get to shore for me. Grab some more iron plates. I think I have some of those to just grab up here. And see how many uh, rotors we've made in the meantime. And I can grab power when I go back. Grab some power down to connect it. Alright, do I have iron plates in here? I have some. Basically all of them. Uh... My copper sheets. Two stacks will probably be enough for this. Make it three stacks just to make sure. What's going in here? Concrete, I probably need some more of that. Eh, I'm doing okay. One extra stack of concrete. It's the iron plates that I really need. Alright, how many of these did you make? We made 20, so I have 52. I think I need about eight more of these, so I'm gonna go grab the iron plates before I forget. Um, which I believe are being made over here. Nice, grab those. Grab those. You guys are making rods. Do we have any of those backed up for me to grab? Maybe over here, maybe not. I just grab some off of the thing here, I guess. Stealing, stealing the rods. Okay. Looks like we're using those up about as... Almost as fast as we're creating them, so I'm slowing down my screw production a bit by doing this, but that's okay. Or this is my... Either reinforced iron plates or something up there. Okay. Uh, so that's that. Let me make some more screws, because I think I'm going to need about nine more rotors. How many rotors do I have? 52. I need eight more. Eight more rotors. I just manly do this. Manly. We're going to manly make some rotors. Manually make some rotors real quick. I think if I have 60, I think that's enough for two water extractors and four... No, I need five. Five generators, so I actually need eight plus ten. I need 18 more of these. Okay, that's more than I was thinking, actually. Okay, well, I'm just going to throw these screws into the uh, auto generator and have that make it. Or the auto uh, assembler that I made. Uh, throw this in here. Okay. okay. Doing more manual crafting than I want to right now, but basically we're at the bottleneck of power. Once we get coal power, that'll alleviate a lot of our power issues, and I won't have to go out and hopefully get trees and leaves to power everything. With all that for now. Let's go get set up with what we currently have started. So, I don't want to bring my power down. Power poles. I'm going to need to connect to my uh, mining area area with power anyway, so I might as well grab a power pole and set this up. Right there. If I plug this into this guy, we should have coal starting to mine. Let's just start mining the coal. Alright, how do I want to set up my coal power here? 
In your opinion, the slug batteries are excellent in the water pumps, considering the default pipes take a full volume, fully overclocked pump. The slug batteries. What's a slug battery? Are you talking about the overclocking or what? Not that. Uh, this. I think I want it this way. Something like this. Now, what's the lock? H? Okay, I think I want it over just a little bit. I think something like this. H, is that what I want? Almost. H, is that it? Again, almost. We'll over to the left one and we'll have what I want. I think. There. Mm. Will that work? I think that might work. It overlaps a little bit there. Actually, I think I want to the left one more. I do like this H. I think there, maybe. No, I think that's the same place it was. So one more over. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, and we want three generators. Do I want them right next to each other? Yes, I think I do. Two. And I need more reinforced plates, which we are currently making. Or, yeah, I am making and keeping some of those. Uh, oh, I can use the arrow keys to nudge it around. Thank you. Another thing I need to learn and make use of. Um, let me get one more platform here. That whole lock hologram and nudge thing didn't exist back when I was playing last time, so I didn't, didn't know about that existing, so thank you for telling me about that. Uh, is this how I really want this? You know what? I think I want space between these. Change my mind. I have changed my mind. There. Is that what I want to do? Yes. Yes, I'm going to do that. Okay. All right. Go S one two and there will be another one right here I believe but I better wait to place that yeah the nudging super useful yeah I'm sure it is I need to I definitely need to make use of that thank you for uh, that reminder there's there's a lot of quality of life things that I'm still learning about that have been added since I played so. Is there coal coming for both of these guys? I assume there will be coal coming on that. I just gotta wait. So let's go straight mode. Which, that is not the direction I thought we were gonna be going. That's okay. Here. Now if I go straight mode, it should go line up perfectly right there. Not straight mode here, I guess. Good. Straight mode is very good sometimes and kind of useless other times. <laughs> I'm glad they have the option, but it's kind of goofy how sometimes it just doesn't actually go straight. Or the way they uh, program straight mode doesn't work super well with vertical or belts that are going along vertical distance, it seems. Okay, so we will be bringing water from the other direction, so how do I want to do this? Um, there. Uh, 
love that look. That works. So that'll bring the call across. Uh, we'll set up splitters for each of these. Splitter. Right there. And right there. Actually, do I want to use splitters here? Yeah, I think what I'm going to end up doing is merging my two... Merge my two uh, 60 a minute belts, and then after I merge them, make the faster belts. And that should work. Because uh, I, I need a bunch of... I need more reinforced plates right now anyway, so let me go grab those. Straight mode really doesn't work well with splitters either sometimes. Okay. Cool. Learning the new uh, ins and outs of whatever's finagly in the <laughs> latest version of Sass Factory. The finagly stuff. Okay. Got some decent amount of smart plates. All right, cool. Okay, there's that. How many of these do we have? Nine more. I think I need another nine. So let me make manual and make some more screws. Make nine more rotors. Uh, which I'm probably not gonna have, have enough rods for that, to be honest. How many uh, screws per rotor? It's like a hundred or something. Yeah, I think it's like 25 screws per rotor. So if I need nine, I need 225 or something like that screws, I think. Something like that. So it's like 250, something like that. Get this making, and then I'll go grab some more rods. For, uh, five times. Actually, that is enough iron rods right there for that. Okay, good. Okay. Um, trying to make sure I have enough for this. Yes, I do have enough for the other whole power. Very good. Nice. You don't take damage when you land in water, which I'm pretty sure is not physically quite correct, but that's okay. Oh, crap, then I fell off. Damn it. Why are you so slipping and sliding? Because I'm wet. Oh, yeah, that makes sense, actually. Okay. This. Right there looks good. And I'm out of iron rods because I just used them all. Okay. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn... Where am I going to merge? I put a merger right... I can't because I have no iron rods. Frickin' hell. Right, I'm going to want to be able to get between my bases a little easier here. So let me uh, see where I can do. A little awkward. I back up one. This will probably ah be perfect. That'll work. That'll work. Beautiful. All right, iron rods. Uh, I'm gonna just make my own. Iron for days here. I'll just go on uh, mainly make some iron rods. Grab all this random iron. Uh, let's see. It's perfect, even though it's not actually perfect. It's a little not quite exactly lined up, but that's okay. This is all temporary. <laughs> My hope is that I will do what I want to do, and when I 
create my permanent base actually have, you know, more, um, well planned out pieces of things. I wonder if I can, just to make this a little better. Uh, I don't think this will quite work. Yeah, it's just better the way it was. Oh well. Okay. So I want to put a merger. I don't want to do this. Probably want to merge like right here. Right about as soon as it turns blue. And I kind of want it to be right in this middle thing, so about right. Right there is good. All right, and then we do a Mark II belt. There. Wait. Do they not let you replace belts by just... Uh... Isn't there a way to... Oh, there it is. I had the wrong thing. There we go. So there, that's Mark II, and we can... If I do Mark II here... There we go. That should, once I merge the second line, give us enough speed for all this. And straight mode means if I do that, that'll just do, be perfectly straight. Perfect. Permanent, you mean mid-game temporary. Yeah, yeah, this is all temporary. Temporary, mid-game temporary. It's exactly right. Exactly right. Uh, and the way I want to set this up is have a stackable around here. Here. That goes from there to there. That is too steep. Alright, so if I come around the other side, that'll probably work. I just need to put this in the right place. Let's see if this will work. Really? Still too steep? Still too steep, huh? Hmm. Okay. I know what I can do. You're not too steep, right? So I go there. And then have the other one go... About like that. Is that too steep? That is still too steep, huh? Uh, have I tried out the new and improved power line zipper? No, I haven't, actually. I haven't. I, I think I can make it now, but I haven't tried it out yet. Straight mode even says that's too steep, huh? If I do that... Frickin' hell, I don't want to make this look super goofy by having it, like, split off and come back around, which... Looking like I might have to do that. Maybe if I move the splitter a little bit, or the merger a little bit further down the line. You know what? I think that will work, actually. So let me change all of this. I can just do my merger like here. About right. Oh, I don't know. About like right there. And now... Hopefully that'll give it enough space to not be... Uh, too steep or anything. Hey, it's even blue and not yellow. Straight is too steep, but that one will work. Not the prettiest thing ever, but we'll we'll call that good. That's a Mark II belt. Is this a Mark II belt? Yes, it is. Okay. There we go. Couldn't I merge them at the top? Yeah, I could, but I don't have a ton of reinforced iron plates. So, yes. Like, what I watch FTL said is kind of the main reason. 
Uh, if I if I were further along and had more resources, then absolutely I would. The next base is going to be temporary too. I hope it's not, because I I don't plan on starting my next base until I get. Um, trains unlocked and that's trains is my main factor for um for setting up my permanent base is getting trains set up that's my goal my goal is trains are the Blue that uh, connects my entire base building strategy. There we go. So we got two layers of coal on Mark 1 belts that merge into a Mark 2 belt, supplying three coal generators that we can eventually uh, increase to like four. What I will say is this is probably going to get in the middle of the, in the way of the piping, but we'll find that out right now actually. Um, where's the pipe supports this, that. So I'm going to come from this direction, actually. So let's start about right here. I usually like to, what I did before is I'd go up to... And this will be the final one, so... Um, yeah, that's gonna be going through that thing. I think I'm okay with that, though. Two. All right, that lined up. That is nice. Fluid, including the water necessary a little clipping, not generators. too bad. Not too bad. Note. Water does not flow upwards by itself. While water extractors provide some lift to truly defy gravity, consider the use of pipeline pumps. Ah, uh, control works on that now, too. I'm not sure if it used to do that. That's so good. <laughs> so good. Beautiful. All right. There's water. Now I just got to get the two pumps for it. Trains are horse feet confirmed. Yeah, yeah. Just like it just there's glue. Your back room or workout, this is a giant ramp. Don't the coal generators only take 15 coal each so all three could run off a single Mark One belt? Why did I think I needed three? I'm doing five, that's why. I'm actually doing five, which means I forgot that I'm actually doing five and not three of these. You are correct. You are correct that uh, that is the numbers needed and I just, I didn't have enough rotors to make all five yet. Five coal generators, two water extractors, two coal miners, and a partridge in a pear tree. That's our that's our current plan of the build. Keep running out of the rotors I need. Okay. Um, I'm kind of doing this haphazardly because I'm making the materials needed for it at the same time that I'm building it, so that's why this isn't super efficient yet. Is this a drain eye warlock run? Hmm. Uh, I don't get it. Or are you just saying because you want me to be playing hard, hardcore classic WoW? Because <laughs> that's a random thing to say <laughs> while I'm playing Satisfactory. Okay. One and. Uh, I'm missing cables. Frick. And this is an expandable power setup, although not foreverly. Foreverly. Not infinitely expandable, sadly. Ah, uh, failed. Uh... I thought it was kind of interesting that you needed to find the lowest common multiple to keep conveyor belts moving nicely. 
Okay, I need more cables. Do I have any more here? I have a few more here. I need to make some more. Do I have wire to make more cables? I do. Wire for days. Satisfactory be like, damn, I have five coal generators. I can build so many machines two hours later. Okay, I've put in another 20 coal power plants that should keep me going before I need to put 10 oil burners. Yeah. I'm clearly playing GDI faction in Command and Conquer. You wonder when the WoW Factorio combo will come out. <laughs> That'd be awesome. I'd play that. I'd play that. Uh, you're saying Draenei Warlock just because it's first-person game. Okay. Well, isn't WoW third-person? Uh, by the way, did I know that there is a world grid now? Yeah, if you hold control. I, I think that was in... I think that was in the last time I played the game. Because if you build anything and hit control, it snaps it to it. And I... I, that's a part of the uh, another reason this should all be temporary because I, I don't think I built this on the world grid and I did build that on the world grid and that's why this doesn't quite line up perfectly um, because of the angle I didn't actually make this temporary base exactly like on the grid it's not too far off because I think this is on the world grid and that's not and I might even be able to make that snap together if I cared. But, like I said, this is all temporary. That's the mantra. Everything is temporary. Alright, so there's my five coal generators. I needed to do a splitter here. Uh, repeat it with me, chat. This is all temporary. Go. And really what I should do, I should make all of the belts connecting these. I should just make them all tier twos. All uh starting there, yeah. There. There. And there. Okay. So there we go. And let's get the water finished. Uh, by the way, let's see. Super useful once you're making large-scale transport. Yeah, that, I bet that does make the train set up a lot better. That lined up. Looks good. It looks good. Splitter. There. Okay. Okay, so we got everything ready here, except I need to actually plug these guys in. Two. Two. And for now, I'll do that. Okay, you plugged in. Beautiful. Okay, so now... Now we just need to plug in some water. Which, I shouldn't have done this this way. I should not have done this this way. This is where I'll... Plug in the water for now. There. Love that snapping, man. Love that snapping. One of the main things, what was it, Planet Crafter was missing was a uh, smooth snapping setup. Do you know about EdaSwap between similar items? Yeah, yeah, people keep telling me and I'm not using it. I need to remember to do it. Um, okay, so do I want to use a fluid buffer for this? If I do, I need some modular frames. It's probably worth using a fluid buffer. Yeah, I, <laughs> I've been reminded by that a couple times. <laughs> That's why I didn't read your whole thing, because I'm like, yeah, I know I'm not doing that. And I have been reminded. I'm trying to remember to just do this, where I middle-click to grab things. I'm not even remembering that super well, so. All right, do I have any modular frames in here? I thought I did. Oh, I have some extra... Oh, wait, I'm looking the wrong thing. I have rotors! That's my inventory. Ding bat. Dingus, dingus bat. 
All right, so I need enough rotors to make two more. I think I do have just enough rotors. I think it's 10 each. So I think we have just enough to make our two water extractors. Is there a way to set default wall platform decoration war paint? Uh, variant. <laughs> variant, not war paint. Uh, yes, I think, I think so. I think I actually even pressed the button earlier for that. This. I think this is the customizer, and you can choose what color you want. I'm not even building any... Well... Yeah, if I, like, did this... That's cool. I, you know, once I set up my permanent base, I'm going to do that. Right now, I just have the default fix-it orange. But when we start our uh, permanent base chat, help me remember, I want to change my color. Okay. Uh, so let's set up water over here. You know what I can do that will probably make this better is use walkways for this. Okay. And we can set up our water extractors right along this line as we need to add more, will be the plan. Okay, so one, two, and how much water can go in each pipe per minute? 300 flow a minute, and each one of these does 120, so one pipe will be enough for these right now. That's good to know. Uh, something like that. There. Okay, that doesn't, that's not going to quite be what I want that to be. I think I need this just to come out a little bit further. Giggity, that's what she said. Okay. Straight mode. Just stand on this edge right here. Okay, almost good. I think I need to go over to the left a little bit more, so let's go over like here. Trying to get this straight and looking good here. But it's temporary, so it doesn't have to look that good, right? Remember, remember our mantra, mantra. it's temporary. Oh man, there's a lot of different versions here. Auto, auto 2D, noodle, horizontal to vertical, okay. Crazy. Okay, a lot of different ways there. Horizontal to vertical, I think I like. If I do that, and that, and that. Alright, that should be good for now. Uh, let's see. You can change default colors. You can paint things. You don't know about default change. I'm pretty sure you can. So, default steel or concrete instead of orange ones. In the menu, who is in? You think the top left option. Oh, what was that? X? Materials. Default. Yeah, so it looks like you can probably want... I haven't unlocked that many walls, but you probably can. You probably can. Thanks for whoever got the ban on that. Uh, there's another one. If anybody, if anybody is around to do that. Um, I don't want to do this. I want to make this look not terrible. Even though it's all temporary, Chad. All temporary. I think the way to do this would be to... Let's see here. Horizontal to vertical. Set this up in a way that I like. Something like that. Okay. 
Okay. That looks pretty good. I like it. For a semi-temporary thing, I think that'll work. Alright, uh, let me get some power to this. Uh, grab on to you. Oh, I can put power poles on these uh, little walkways. Cool. Like right between these guys. Okay, there we go. That might be our power situation situated for a bit. Max? Oh, uh, why is this? Okay, so uh, although it's going to take a little bit of time for the water to come up, right? Do I need to set up water pumps, though? Is this vertical going to be a problem? Okay, let me, let me get the band here. Band this. Blank click. Stop trying to sell me viewers. No viewers allowed. Okay, I think I might need a pump there. It should be fine. It'll do 10 meters of lift for free. Ah, okay. It's just I just have to wait. Just have to wait. Yeah, there we go. There it goes. And those guys should start kicking on. We should start seeing some smoke. Oh boy. There we go. And our capacity should start flying up. Beautiful. Beautiful. It'll take a little bit of time for all these guys to kick in, but let me make sure they are slowly kicking in here. That's less than 10 meters up lifts. We should be fine. Okay, cool. All right, let me watch these as the smoke stacks start turning on. Yeah, so it's going to be the water. It's going to just take a little bit of time, I think, to get all the way down here. Let me just make sure again. 50, uh, no, 45 a minute times 5. 225 water, and I should be supplying 240 with those two. So this should be more than enough water. We went from burning leaves to burning coal. That's right. <laughs> burning leaves to burning coal. All right. So these guys will slowly spin up. And now what I want to do is I want to I want to connect my entire power grid so that my mining and all that over there is not running on leaves and trees that I have to keep resupplying. So let me quickly... Uh, Extend my power over there. And then we can actually start building factory stuff instead of power stuff. Why are they so slow with spinning up? I don't know. I don't know why they're so slow when they when they, when they get started. Because water doesn't move instantly, I guess is probably the reason. It's just like because we have when we're using tier one belts. Tier 1 belts take time to take the materials from the mine to the actual... Let's go this way. From the mine to where the source is being used. So it takes time for that water to be pumped. And I think the more vertical uh, distance it has to go, the more time it takes to, you know, overcome that vertical distance kind of thing. Yeah, and the water pipes are kind of slowly filling, too. So it's not like the water instantly fills. When do you get higher power transmission lines? When I get uh, them unlocked with Caterium, which I am slowly working on. I have, I think I actually have tier 2 pulse set up, I just haven't, I don't have quick wire, uh, which quick wire needs to be automated, I think, before you can really do tier 2 power poles, I think. Because quick wire is a thing that makes tier 2 power poles, uh, I think, are used instead of something else. Uh, capacity 495, that does include all my uh, bio burners, though, but we have our power... We have a global power grid from this area to that area, so very nice. Uh, is that right, that Tier 2 power poles? Yeah, these Tier 2 power poles, do you see behind my head? You don't. See this gold stuff right here? 
That's called quick wire, which is made with Caterium. And I haven't been able to uh, auto mine Caterium yet because all the Caterium deposits I found have things I need to explode on top of them. So I need to get the explosive thing unlocked, which I might be able to get done today. Technically, the power lines just take power. There's no step up or down capacity cable. Right. Right. But if I want to upgrade the... Uh, I guess that's true. We only need the power lines, but if I want to make the power pole twos, I need the Caterium. So, technically, we don't need better power lines. It's just the power poles, which gives us more connections. Why is that shining orange over there? That's weird. Is that a bug? Maybe it stops now, because I did that. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> Graphic bug, yeah. Okay. All right, fixed. Um, so what do I want to do next? We have power upgraded, pretty much. Um, I do need to get some other things automated. Um, we have smart plates going. And one thing I set up uh, last night was I put a little splitter here so I have some of the uh, reinforced iron plates being split off so I have a source of reinforced iron plates. My reinforced iron plates aren't actually being uh, created that quickly. I think rotors and staters are usually a big turning point. Um, my current milestone is... So we got power. Steel is probably what I want to get next. Don't see a lot of value in the level 2 power poles. Level 1 does the same job. Your power network looks like shiznizzle, though. I like to have the better power poles because it's just convenient to be able to connect more lines to those those power poles. Uh, Honestly, I could actually get the security thing probably right now if I want to do that. Get the Xeno Basher. I will have to make some iron rods, but... You know what, let me just do this one real quick, because I can do it right now. The steel production, I need modular frames, and I think I need to get rotors and modular frames and all that automated. But let me get this upgrade first, because I can pretty much do this right now. There. And I do need the, you know what I need? I need um, a source of iron rods that's more consistent. But I'm just gonna make them myself. Make them myself. Have I found any alternative recipes for rotors? Uh, I found one alternative, but I chose something else instead of it. That's not what I want to make. I'll make these. Um, I found an alternative for screws. I'm using the cast iron screws, which I feel like early game is one of the best alternates and I watch FTL was mad when I got that one you like the mark 2 power poles you never bother with the mark 3 yeah All right uh, so okay that's the oh I need 600 not a hundred oh gosh okay this might take me a little bit of time to manually do uh, I think all right I'm gonna make this stack I'm gonna drop off some materials and I'm gonna go back to my old base because I'm pretty sure I have rods and um, plates just making over there for me to go grab as needed. Eventually, I'll hopefully I will have the dimensional stuff, which will make me not have to make these long trips, I think. So this, this, this coal into there. Is that not coal? And let me throw this in leaves in here that I have. Okay. Um, what's up, Kitty? How are you doing? I haven't been searching that hard for hard drives. Uh, when I see them, I've been trying to mark them down, but some of them have been guarded by some pretty scary stuff, like radiation that I can't get through, or radiation dogs that I'm scared of. Yeah. 
This is my first playthrough. No, this is like my fourth playthrough. I love this game. It might look like it with how my stuff is not super well arranged, but this is all temporary until I get trains. <laughs> That's what I keep telling chat and myself. This is all temporary until we get trains. Trains is going to be my cue to set up a more permanent build. Um, layout. Oh, wow, we're full here. Nice. Pick a bunch of these. Alright, be good on that for a while. And these guys, beautiful. Glad I left this set up just for my materials needs as we build up our temporary permanent, permanently temporary base. I don't know if it's still in the game, but the other Omega Awesome alternate you want for me is steel. Used to be able to make steel from iron ingots instead of iron ore, and it was Omega more efficient than the base recipe, and you haven't found it yet again, sadly. This is way more organized than your base, Flurchant. You're on your first playthrough, though? Yeah. Trains? You didn't know there were trains? Whoops, spoiler. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, if you watch the launch trailer, they, they literally show them riding around on trains, so I feel like it's not too much of a... Spoiler to tell you that trains exist. I think my second playthrough I used trains because I think that's when they first added them. My third playthrough I didn't use trains because trains. Well, I just appeared. Um, because I felt like it was just easier to place belts everywhere. But this playthrough, I want to be more organized and make things look better. So my plan is to use trains this build. And. Uh, I'm going to apologize. I'm going to check my text messages real quick because I have a date tonight and I'm getting some messages. I want to make sure. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, make sure I'm not missing anything. Cool. So next goal. Uh, I need to get rotors. I think rotors is the first thing I want to get. Oh, wait. I got what I needed to get this unlocked. Let's do that. Two, four, six. What are the date plans? We're going to meet up. At a, uh, hold on, I'll tell you after this. Stone reached. The Xeno Basher is a direct upgrade from the Xeno Zapper. Xeno Basher. In the words of the engineer that first developed this tool, quote, the Zapper kind of electrocutes things. Kind of electrocute, that sounds like what I would say. Stuff, while also electrocuting them, <laughs> It is beneficial during encounters with aggressive fauna and has been tested thoroughly. The engineer's noble sacrifice for Xeno research will not be forgotten, whoever they were. Okay, um, so the date plans are, um, I'm a big gamer, so I was like, we could go, like, to one of those, like, side arcade type places, but those places are really loud, and if we want to, like, you know, first time we're meeting, chat and stuff, probably don't want to go to some place, like, super loud and stuff. Um, so, she likes board games, and is really good at Battleship, so we're gonna go to, like, to a coffee shop, and chat and play Battleship. That's, that's our, that's our plans. I should have grabbed wire. To grab wire, uh, but that's that's our plan. That's we're gonna we're gonna meet up at a copy shop, probably chill out and play some battleship and chat. I think that's 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 the date plans. Solid, you like it? Okay, thanks, thanks. I think it should be fun. Uh, who's the lucky guy? Um, her name is Shelly. Yay for the space giraffe tick penguin thing. Space giraffe, tick penguin thing, yes. All right, you know what? This is not good. I need like 500 wire to make this thing, so I need to actually go back and grab wire. I grabbed all the iron stuff. I should have grabbed the copper stuff too. I'm hoping it'll be fun. Uh, the last couple dates I've been on were like fine, but not that great. So um, the chatting we've already done has been pretty chill and she's made me laugh so I'm hoping it'll be a good time hey baby do you know I completed the FTL Harbor no pause cycle challenge sound of panties hitting floor yeah yeah I will probably not be talking about stream stuff very much <laughs> probably not uh, I don't drink which is half of the cider cake do I drink coffee no but the coffee place we're going is kind of a coffee slash bar, so they'll probably have food and 
you know, like snack things, the place that we're going. So I don't drink coffee or alcohol. <laughs> but uh, every place has water. And I think this place has food, so I'll probably snag on something. No, I don't really drink tea either. But I do like, you know, like hot chocolate and stuff. And usually coffee places have things like, um, what is that stuff called? Um, uh, like mochas or whatever. What's, what's the drinks that you get that's like basically hot chocolate, but without the coffee, but it's not actually hot chocolate. There's like a word for that, right? Um, I don't go to coffee places, so I don't know all the terminology. <laughs> uh, like a latte or something, or a mocha or a venti, I, I don't know. I know the words they use at coffee places, but I don't know what they all mean. Orange mocha fla frappuccino. You know, I'll get something like that, like Zoolander gets. You order a mocha, it will have coffee. A lot of coffee places do have cocoa, though. Yeah, okay. Uh, like a lot, maybe a latte. I don't know. I I kind of need something that doesn't have dairy in it, though. So, I need a dairy-free chocolate latte venti. Hold the dairy. You know, be the super, super high maintenance person. All right, so I need one more of these, right? Yes, one more of these. And then I can make this guy. A Xeno Basher! Bam! Let's equip this guy. I got a sword! My lightsaber is complete! Come at me! Come at me, alien aggressive things. Alright, uh, am I ready to set the next thing or do I have to wait? I am ready. Steel! We need steel. Do I need to automate rotors and modular frames next? I think that's my next goal. Depending on where you go, they'll have almond milk or coconut milk put instead. Yeah, yeah. That's 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 probably what I'll want to uh, do. Can't you uh, customize this thing? Um, like I can change the little screwdriver doodad there. How do I change that? Customizer builder. Thought there was a way to customize your. Oh, that's in here, isn't it? They put that in here, didn't they? The locker. Yeah, character customization. Wait, I do have the golden nut. Does it only... Oh, it only applies to this thing? I can't get the... How do I change the trigger for my other stuff? Is my trinket only changeable on my build gun, I guess? Oat milk is all the rage right now, huh? Okay. Hmm. Can't eat the actual ice cream. You do like the non-dairy ones? Yeah, I'm the same way. What's current dating etiquette? Am I expected to pay? Um, well, the last date I went on to, before I could say anything, the girl just said separate checks, please. Uh, I'll probably offer if I get the opportunity, uh, and I'll play it by ear. That's how I do it. I offer, and if she accepts, then I'll pay, and if she says, no, we'll do separate, I'm fine with that, too. It's pretty wide open, I think, in today's day and age. All right, so what do I want to set up? I want to set up rotors first. And my rotor build, I think I only have one rotor build right now, which is screws and iron rods. So we're gonna to need to do a screw and iron rod setup into rotors. And let me figure out the numbers of these things. Fifteen iron rods per minute, and it needs twenty, so it'll take two iron rods. And oh, I gotta remember middle click. And my cast screws is fifty per minute, 
I needed a hundred. So two cast screws, two iron rods will have uh, four rotors per minute. Brown sugar, oatmeal, shaken espresso at Starbucks is tasty. It's pricey. Separate checks, please, could be great, or it could mean she's out. <laughs> that might be what it was, because my last date I went, it was fine, it was fun, but we haven't chatted since, so that might have been one of those where it's like, chemistry wasn't really there. So, that, you could be right, it could be that. That could be what, what that meant. Um, how do I want to set this up? Again, this is all temporary, temporary base. Um, I think I'm going to set it up up here. So I might need more iron. I'll figure out how much iron I need. Eventually, what I'm really excited about is having... The reason I want to do trains as my setup, a lot of times the hardest part about factory building in this game, in my opinion, is getting the raw resources to your factory in a way that's efficient. Because if, like, say, I need more iron, well, then I got to go find an iron node. I got to set up... Uh, the mining and the smelting on site, and then I got to set up a law of really long belts, and it's really resource intensive. If you get trains set up, what you can do is you have a centralized train station where everything delivers materials to right next to your factory. And so anytime you need to get more raw materials, you go out and find a node, you get the, uh, the mining and smelting set up on site, which is what I like to do, and then you just get a train stop right there and so you get a you get trains going all over the map picking up the materials bringing them to your centralized train station that distributes that to your main factory and um my idea is to have a train hub in the middle have a bunch of small factories around it and i can pull materials from that train hub that's my plan as you're using truck stations you can do that now yeah i never really liked trucks that much maybe they're better now but i'm trying to avoid using trucks because i just Never really thought trucks were that that good. All right, so these are iron rods, and I needed two more iron rod producers. So let's set up two more iron rod producers here. Um, and I'm doing them this way. Is this what I want to do? A sec, let me. I underclocked you, and I don't think I'm going to want to underclock. Actually, I might want to underclock them, but I don't know the exact numbers yet. Do I want that overlapping or not? Yes, I think I do want that overlapping, actually. Okay. Am I going to do one Omega Large Factory? I'm going to do one Distribution Center and lots of little production sites spread out. I think I want to... Usually I do one ginormous factory. That's what I usually do. do. Um, a second. Set that real. This time I think I want to do multiple factories making different items. I think is what I want to do. 20 iron, uh, 20 iron rods per minute. You do 15. I'm going to underclock you to 10. I like underclocking because it means less power requirement. I can type this in, can't I? I can. There we go. 10 per minute there. Uh, copy. There. Paste. Uh, right now, let's see. Trains have larger capacity. Maybe skipping trucks and going straight to trains might be a bigger boost in shorter term. Short amount of time without the sunk cost of trucks. Yeah. And, and I just don't want to spend up spend time setting up trucks because you have to, like... They, like, have this weird programming thing, at least last time I did it, where you... You have to save a... You, like, start to record when you're driving the truck, have it go to some place get filled, and then go to the other place, drop it off, and then go back to the other place. You're like, save and re record the, the route, and I just don't like that mechanic very much. All saving and whatever. Okay, so that's the iron rods. 
Although, okay, and I can make cast iron screws, and I needed two for cast iron screws, so I'm gonna do a skip here. There. Cast screw, 12.50 uh, a minute, yes. There. Uh, you haven't tried the new truck AI? Last time you tried, they still sucked unless you record their roots super slow. Yeah, and I just don't even want to mess with that if I can help it. Just don't want to mess with it. Maybe it's really good now, uh, but I just... Trains are really cool in this game, so... I do just plan on skipping trucks and going right to trains. That's my that's my plan. Okay. I need to figure out how much iron. The, part of the reason this temporary base is temporary is I'm not keeping track of how much iron I'm bringing in and how much I'm using. And that can be an issue when you're trying to, uh, you know, keep your... Uh, keep everything flowing and not running out of materials. It's currently all my irons... A lot of my irons backed up, so I could probably just you know, split off one of these irons, but I feel like I should probably set up another uh, iron supply line, basically. Alright, so let me see how I want to set this up. So I'm going to need iron to here and to over here. I keep jumping off like a dumbass. Okay. That's my out. So my in is going to be over here. How am I going to do this? Yeah, I probably bring it in on the bottom row. That guy. Uh, reminds you of the dumb as rocks harvesters and Kingman and Conquer and their terrible pathfinding, yeah. <laughs> there. So far, this setup doesn't have a lot of overlap, so even though this is all kind of temporary, at least it's not too, too spaghettified or too ugly. So that's, that's, that's something I'm thankful for. Nothing could be as bad as that Okay, man, and conquer harvester pathfinding nights. Okay. Um, let me figure out how much these are each using again. I need a way up. Maybe make another vertical place in a second here. 12.5 times 2 is... 25 a minute? Is that right? Yes. 25 a minute there. Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> I keep trying to jump around these. I need a railing to go around these guys. Uh, up here. Math on stream, that's right. Not even once. Um, I feel like what I need to do here is... Okay, if I do this and then cycle, what is it, E? There. And I can walk down the middle here, E. I want this in the middle. I wish you could automatically put these in the middle. You have to use... To use these to do what I'm trying to do here, which is that. If I do that, then I can put this in the middle by connecting it there. Okay. All right. So now, can I check this? Nope. I'm too far away, but I can jump over to it. All right. So this is using 10 times 2. So 20 plus 25. We're only using 35 iron per minute for this, for this, and currently these guys are using seven and a half 
times 2 is 15 plus 10. Uh, no, 15. So I think I actually can pull off of one of these 60 a minute irons. I'm gonna I'm gonna trust that I can. Unless I'm already splitting off for this guy. You know what? I am already splitting off for this guy, aren't I? Hmm. Alright. I am already splitting off and I'm gonna split off again. Once I start running out. I'll I'll go get more iron for now. I'm just gonna just gonna steal from myself. Let's see, and where is it? Middle. Right there, I think. There. So that should go. There. And there to go in. This won't be, you know, min-max efficiency, and my excuse is that it's all temporary. Can I nudge the catwalk hologram with H? Oh, that's a good, that's a good question. I don't know. I should check that. Let me see. Let me see if I could have done that that way. Um, where was I trying to do that? It was up above. I do this H. Uh, what's building cannot be nudged. No, doesn't look like you can do that. Sadly, cannot do that. Whoops. Uh, you're now completely rethinking how to build your base more efficiently with different levels after seeing mine. Yours is completely on ground level. That's one of my favorite things about this game, is the th the third dimension. I know I talk about that a lot, which probably <laughs> makes Madman man because Madman loves Factorio so much. But the third dimension to me is one of the reasons why I like this. Probably the main reason I like this more than um, Factorio. If not the main reason, one of the main reasons. Huh. That overlap is funky. Okay. Yeah, it was a good idea. I wish it, the nudge did work there. That would be cool. Okay. Um... For the outputs of these guys. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. Go same level as these other guys were, which is right. I think there. We're gonna put the merger on this side for this guy. Merger. Oh, that is gonna overlap, isn't it? Okay, let's go. Hmm. Kind of wherever I do this, there's gonna be a little bit of an overlap, which I don't love. Okay. Yeah, okay, a little overlap there. Again, don't love it, but we'll make it work. Um, it's all temporary, Chad. All temporary. I think there lines up. If I go any higher, it'll go on it'll go through the walkway, I think. Well, let me check. Let me check if I go one higher if it will not go through the walkway or not. I go one higher. Let's see what that looks like. That might be okay. No. Ooh, okay, that works. Again, it's maybe a very slight overlap there, but that looks a lot better. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. Your immersion is ruined. I know. I'm trying to fix it. 
Uh, you are mad by default. Why would it make you mad? You would love to have third access in Factorio. That's true. You have said you would love to have that, actually. <laughs> uh, it would make you mad because you are a madman. Yeah, I think it's that level. Let me see if that's right. Uh... Huh. Is that going up a little bit? Because it didn't overlap as much on that other one, I think. Alright, still, it's not terrible. It's better than it was, I think. And this needs to go up one. There. And merger. And... There. Um... Let's see here. Going to space is kind of the third dimension, right? Totally. It's totally the third dimension. Okay, so the plan here now is... Let's get these powered so they're doing something. I really want to set up a better walkway system at my next... I didn't... In my old factories, I kind of just had one long, big giant floor and I would put all my machines on the floor and I just walk around. I want to make use of walkways more this time because I think it look, makes for a really cool looking factory and these walkways aren't terrible but I can definitely do a better job with setting up a better walkway setup. So I will this is my test run on walkways. Uh, was I coming up here for? Uh, power. I need to power these guys. So uh, I want to do this. Power pole right there. 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 Uh, <laughs> I keep failing my jumps here. I definitely need a better walkway system. Can't get around some of my machines over here. Maybe I just need to remove the rails. The rail's getting in my way. <laughs> Jesus. All right, I'm fixing this right now. I can't get behind my machines. Production manifolds are pretty important in real life, too. Ocean Inspector takes one look at all this and his head explodes. True, true. Alright, uh. Oh man, there's even overlap here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come up with a better. better system. Just, just set figuring out how I want to set up the walkways in a way that gives me access to things, but also looks good. That's going to be a challenge. Do the machines have a ladder on each side you can climb over? You know, they probably do. Um, although I don't think these do. I don't think the smallest ones do, actually. Oh, here. Maybe there. They're only on one side. That's the problem. They're only on one side, so that's my excuse. They're only on one side, and it's on the wrong side for some of these. I don't know why they put a ladder on one side and not the other. Okay, so that is screws and rods. So now, um, I need, yes. I don't want to set this up. Maybe right here. Uh, you never noticed it was only on one side? Now you know. <laughs> now you know. 
Uh, I can't put it here. It, it runs into those things, doesn't it? Let's go over there. Is that okay? Nah, I don't like that. We'll put it on the other side. Again, it's all temporary. All temporary. That's my mantra. It's all temporary. Right. Hmm. I have it more to the left or the right on these. Let me check. More to the left. This is going to make rotors. Uh, that's a pretty good excuse, actually, that I was failing my jump, that they didn't put the ladders on both sides. The ladders on both sides for these ones? Yeah. No. No, it's only on... <laughs> Why? Why would they do that? Rude. Rude, really. Right. Bring this... Because they're trolley devs, I guess. I guess they're trolley devs. Uh, because of the right hand rule. Is that a thing? I'm not familiar with that rule, but I'll take your word for it. Okay, and I think we want this on the bottom row. I think. No matter how you look at it, this is just so hazardous. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Completely safe. Completely safe. Can I? I wonder if I can do, since I wanted a way up here, or a way down, and yet. I will be expanding this as we go. There. All right, cool. We have a way back up on this side now. Oh, wait, I had one over here, too. All right. Yeah, this isn't super well planned out. <laughs> Big surprise. But that does get me up to the next level up there, so that's good. Um, so the inputs. And actually, this is going to be in the way now, I think, so I need to move that anyway. So we got screws, and we got the rods. So let's figure out the inputs for these. It's about that level. Let me see if that's right. Does that look like the same level? It sure does. Okay, cool. So that, and then... I think what I'll do is one... One from each direction here. I think this is the way I want to do this. There. Our starter, starter, starter base was even worse than this, huh? True, true. I am attempting to make this semi-organized for a temporary base. And that looks pretty good right there. I'm actually pretty happy with how that straight belt made that look good. And then this guy... There. Ah, damn. Undo that. Just go back a couple spaces. Maybe it'll be better if I go from this direction. Can't do the turny thing with this one for some reason. Oh, that that's not lined up. That's gonna bug me. That's straight across. That one is straight across. I think my height on this is off. Unless that one's going slightly up and I didn't notice. That one is going slightly up and I didn't notice. Oh, okay. My OCD! One down, I think. Is 
that's still going up. I think that's straight. I think. Okay. I think those look decent. I think that might be okay. They look pretty straight. I'm not sure if this was on straight mode when I did that, though. Just to make sure. Uh, spaghetti and Factorio can become incredibly cursed incredibly fast. This is next level, you think, huh? Just that extra Z-axis, yeah. It's developing organically. That's your nice way of saying, look what an effing mess, but it works okay. <laughs> Again, temporary. Because this is all... When I have my permanent base, it's going to be so much more... Organized, I swear. I swear it will be. I really hope I can, you know, fulfill that promise. Okay. Process engineering is actually a very complex process. It's very good term, uh, uh, quote. Uh, and part of the reason I'm saying so this is temporary so much is because, um, like, I don't even have good storage for everything, and, um, uh, I watch FTL, if I talk about dimensional storage, are you ta to the point where it won't be a spoiler if I talk about it? I don't know exactly how it works, but my plan is to plan around that when I build my stuff. I think maybe you have unlocked that by now, is my guess. I'm hoping you have unlocked that by now. Basically, once I unlock, if I understand correctly, one of the videos I watched. Once I unlock this, I'm going to change the way I do all of my storage. Everywhere that I'm going to be building my finalized build of items, I'm going to have a smart splitter pulling off the excess to put in dimensional storage that I can use. So I don't want to set up any permanent storage yet because I'm going to be playing around dimensional storage that is going to be eventually a thing that we just I haven't unlocked yet. All right, this will be my storage for rotors. Beautiful. I now have store uh, rotors automated. Um, so that's why this is all kind of temporary storage I'm doing right here for these items that we're making. Okay. Um, uh, that's that's a really good time to break. GG cookie time. We have rotors that will start coming into here automated. So I'm the Sam Stretch user restroom. Take my first break of the day. Uh, for first break of the day. Hope you all are having a good time. Satisfactory. Always such a blast. Uh, when we come back, I will probably work on modular frames to get those automated, and I probably will need more iron uh, raw materials being brought in here. So you all watch as, there we go, the rotors start appearing. When we come back, we'll work on that. So enjoy chair or ad time. See you in a bit, my friends.